Hello, Exchange family, and welcome to another Incredible Beauty Live. I am your host, Emily, and I am super excited to welcome back a very good friend of ours and a very familiar face amongst the beauty tribe. We have Heather back with us uh, with Calvin Klein. We're talking Calvin Klein today. Heather, yes. how are you doing? I'm fabulous. Good to see you as always. Hello, everybody out there. So yes, today's all things Calvin Klein. Now, this brand, this is like, first of all, wherever you go in the world, Calvin Klein is a brand that everybody knows. Whether we're talking fashion, whether we're talking accessories, fragrance, and we all have a story. I know we all have a story, um, some kind of Calvin Klein story, right? Because there's such great history in the brand. I mean, this was a brand that was even featured in Back to the Future. Do you remember that, Emily? Yeah, I, I do remember Back to the Future, Yes. <laughs> So, and then also like think about, so Calvin Klein is this brand that has always been on the forefront of like pushing boundaries when it comes to all things, fashion, fragrance, fun fact, Calvin Klein was the first designer to put his name on denim. Isn't that like, now that is just like every day, like every designer wants a pair of jeans. Calvin Klein was the first. So he broke boundaries when it came to that. Now let's think about the underwear and the Marky Mark, you know, ads back in the 90s. So fun fact, when they launched the underwear campaign, there was this huge billboard in Times Square of Marky Mark just in his bo Calvin Klein boxers. They had to take it down because there were so many accidents because women would be, women and men, I'm sure would be driving and just like, <laughs> and then just start crashing into car. Like that literally happened in Times Square. <laughs> Yeah, that is so funny. And I remember hearing that actually. So just imagine having that effect on people just driving to work <laughs> or driving oh, home. Anywhere, <laughs> right? Why'd you yeah. crash your car, honey? I'm sorry. I was looking at Marky Mark in his underwear. So. <laughs> but let's talk about fragrance because in the world of fragrances, Calvin Klein was the first to do a lot of things. Also, Calvin Klein was the first to create the master brand. And what that means is when you have a fragrance for men and for women that have the same name. So obsession and eternity, there's eternity for men, eternity for women. Calvin Klein was the first to do this. And now, of course, this is something that we see all the time as well. Another first with Calvin Klein fragrance, the first unisex or shared fragrance was CK1 back also, once again, in the 90s. And when that came out, people were like, what do you mean you can, a man and a woman can wear the same fragrance? Well, now we know we also love to, to mix and match amongst, you know, the different scents ourselves. But once again, Calvin Klein, you know, when it comes to fashion, when it comes to fragrance, this is a brand that is a trendsetter. So I'm so excited to like, this is a brand, by the way, that we could really like go back and forth and talk about forever. But you guys, I know out there, we don't have forever. So we'll talk today about the two newest members to the Calvin Klein fragrance family. And that is, oh, this is one of my favorites. Oh, it's called My Euphoria, and it literally is My Euphoria. I mean, there's some out there for you guys to buy as well, but this is an amazing new fragrance, and you might have seen it in your um, BXs because you guys in military were actually the first to have this fragrance before anybody else. Along with this, you were the first to have this new fragrance, Defy Parfum for him. Two fabulous fragrances for this time of the year that we're going into with fall because they're a little bit warmer, they're a little bit spicier. Um, we'll get into those, but I'm gonna start with Calvin Klein Defy. Now, and quickly, just a reminder before yeah. we dive in, I yes. do wanna just let our Beauty Tribe members know um, that we thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions for Heather throughout the show, please jump in the comments. Um, or if you have a favorite Calvin Klein fragrance, we want to know. We also want to know where you're watching from. Um, we know the weather is changing. So if, whether you're in a warmer part of the world or you are now in your full on fall or maybe already in winter um, temperature, let us know. And also let your friends know that you're watching this. Um, share it to your page and start your own watch party. Um, and we are now we're ready to go and we are going to dive in. So Love sorry, it. Heather, just no. to make sure we oh, got all that out. Exactly. Well, you know, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm like acting okay. like I'm just here by myself and I'm just, no, it's going fine. you, you started talking about Mark Wahlberg and I just was like, I know. Oh, and wait, I know that you oh, have, wait, I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> I'm supposed to say something, <laughs> but it's just, it's so fun. Like when there's brands that have so much history, there's just like so much to talk about. And Absolutely. once again, like everybody has, and I would love to, hopefully people share their, their stories and just really quick side note, 
my very first fragrance, and I did, this isn't the actual one, but my very first fragrance ever when I was 12 years old was this fragrance, everybody. Obsession for men. This isn't the actual bottle because I actually do still wear this, but I was ahead of my time wearing um, before there how was- long a, has, How long has Obsession been out? So Obsession for Women came out in 85 and for Men came out in um, 86. So I was wow. 10 years old. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and you know what? The thing is, is like, when you talk about the classics, Obsession, Eternity, like these, there's nothing that smelled like these fragrances out there. And I really love that even Defy that I'm going to talk to in a moment and Euphoria, you know, instead of like following the trends, set your own trend and be like Calvin Klein and be the one that wears something that nobody else is wearing, that's brand new and mixing things like that's what these fragrances are so amazing. Um, so Defy, Defy is a fragrance that came out in 2021. This is the Eau de Toilette that launched in 2021. And the packaging, you can see the inspiration. It looks very denim, right? So very denim-y. The whole packaging is inspired by Calvin Klein denim and the different tones of denim. And what's really unique about the Defy collection of fragrances, these are the only fragrances in Calvin Klein that are men only. So there, this is not a master brand. So there are no women Defy fragrances. It's an exclusive men's scent. So before we talk about the newness, which is the parfum, I'm going to take you just on a little journey into the house of Defy. And what does he smell like? Well, I'm telling you this fragrance, the Eau de Toilette is like a fresh morning. It is so crisp. It has lavender and bergamot, which is kind of a citrus note. It's like if you just step out on a brisk morning and it, that helps to wake you up, this is one of those fragrances. So this fragrance, the Defy Eau de Toilette, is definitely the fragrance that I would say is like your daytime fragrance. This is a great way to wake you up, start your morning. So delicious. So bergamot, lavender, vetiver, and vetiver, Emily, do you know what vetiver is? I don't. So that was going to be my next question. And I don't get me to say it because I'm not sure I can say it, but you say it quite elegantly. Vetiver. Well, in vetiver, it actually sounds really fancy, but what it is, it's like the tall green grass that kind of grows alongside of like a river. Mm -hmm. So once that's dry, that scent, so it's kind of an earthy scent. Um, you find it in a lot of men's fragrances. So you have bergamot, lavender, vetiver, and then the dry down of this fragrance. So that note that really lasts on your skin is amber and amber is that warm kind of sultry note in a fragrance. Now, this is an eau de toilette, but because of that bergamot and the vetiver oil and the amber, I wanna say that this eau de toilette is gonna to last about four to six hours on your skin. So off of the success of the eau de toilette, the next year, 2022, we launched the Defy Eau de Parfum. And I'm such a visual person. So like I see these two, and I immediately think, well, this one must be more intense. It must be stronger just because the way that the gradient of the color is. Every time a new Defy comes out, I'm like, how can it get any better? But it does. This one here, this defies expectations for sure. This is, it has, the, it has some of those, it has mandarin oil. So it has that citrus top note, but it has a dash of black pepper. So you get a little bit of spice. But what makes this, this particular fragrance, the Eau de Parfum, so special, it has notes of leather. And in this fragrance, you have not only like that suede, which is more of that like kind of soft powdery scent of leather, but you also have like a brushed leather. It's so, it's like very sexy, um, kind of like a rugged scent. Delicious. Um, what else do we have in this? Vetiver oil. So once again, you're an expert on vetiver. So you've got the green, you've got the suede and leather and mandarin. And this is an eau de parfum. So where the eau de toilette will last about four to six hours and eau de parfum is going to last about six to eight hours on the skin. One of the things that I love about the Defy collection also is that there is an ancillary. There is a body product and it's a hair and hair and body wash, which we know you guys, you guys like to have it one and done. You like something simple, right? You want something you can use over your whole body. So this has the scent of Defy, it has some of the base ingredients. So you can use this with any of your Defy fragrances, whether we're talking Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, or what I'm gonna introduce you to in just a moment, which is the newest Defy Parfum. The other thing that's so great about having a scented body wash, one of the complaints that we hear from a lot of our, our customers out there, especially our men, is that the fragrances, the scent doesn't last on their skin. 
And what we found is that a lot of our male clients are using things like Lever 2000, um, the different body washes that, that like our antibacterial body washes. And if it's antibacterial, it's designed to keep scent off of you. And this body wash can't tell the difference between a beautiful scent of a fragrance or your body. <laughs> so they're like showering with this antibacterial stuff. They spray the fragrance and it's like literally repelling the scent off of them. So whenever you can get a scented body wash to match your fragrance, you're going to smell amazing. It's going to last all, all day. I did not know that. And yeah. that makes total sense. Right. <laughs> I yes. think that's because I, I love when I have the matching fragrance shower right. gel to go because I feel like it's an extra boost but I didn't yep. realize it was actually like helping you throughout the day to ensure yeah. that your fragrance I mean it's on that's incredible right? yeah <laughs> yes so now let me talk about the newest member to this collection and that is the Defy Parfum so this is going to be the most intense as you can see the difference between let's just the bottles it's almost completely opaque. This is Parfum. So on the level of intensity, Eau de Toilette is going to be the lightest interpretation. That's why it's a great daytime fragrance. Going into the Eau de Parfum, this is something like after a day's work, you're going to go out, have a nice dinner, add some Defy because this is more sensual. It's definitely more of a date night. But now we're talking like special occasion. Like this is such an amazing fragrance. So Defy Parfum, this just came out. You guys, once again, had it first um, within the last few weeks. So this is brand spanking new. And how does he smell? Like I said, when I say like, I love the original Eau de Toilette. I love the Eau de Parfum, but this, Emily, this is where it's at. This is so, it's like, if I could, this sounds so crazy, but it smells like a, a suit like a tuxedo like it's just like sexy but sophisticated like George Clooney in a tuxedo like on the Am Amalfi coast or something like that that's what this fragrance smells like so what you have in this fragrance first of all some of the most unique and interesting notes that I've ever seen in a fragrance but you have pink pepper and pink pepper like pink peppercorn it's sweet and spicy at the same time I kind of like to compare it to like a um a clove, you know, the cloves, it's Thanksgiving's around the, around the corner when we smell cloves, we think it's like Thanksgiving, but it kind of has that sweet and spice. So pink pepper has that same kind of note. And then similar to the original Eau de Toilette, you've got the beautiful calming powdery note of lavender in the heart of this fragrance, but in the base. Now the base notes, when we talk about base notes, these are the, these are those notes that when you, when you put on a jacket that you wore like three days ago, and you still smell the fragrance, those are the base notes that's, that last on the clothes and of course then last on your skin. So we have cedar wood, which is that beautiful, warm, woody undertone. But this note, Emily, that I've never, like this is one of the most unique notes, upcycled cocoa shells. Okay, so you're gonna have to explain right? that one. And I think you knew that, that <laughs> one, with that question. Just trust me, when I saw it, I was like <laughs> Googling, I'm like, what? So. The cocoa beans that are made for, you know, that they take out to use to make ch to make chocolate and all kinds of different things, um, they come in this large pod, and the, the outside, the shell, is discarded and just thrown away, but there's a lot of scent, obviously, in that shell, so the shell that would have normally been thrown away is used and upcycled, so instead of recycle, where you, you know, you're able to some, recycle something completely different, upcycle is, it was going to be trash. And we figured out a way to use this amazing new scent. So when I smell this, it's so funny because that cocoa is what I smell first. It almost smells, there's not coconut in this, but it almost has like a coconut smell to it also. So it's this fresh, warm fragrance and on the skin, unreal. So that's the newest with the upcycled cocoa shells. That's awesome. And I do want to just let the beauty tribe know um, while we're going through this, um, something super exciting. Um, Today and tomorrow, everything that Heather's talking about, um, the Defy and Euphoria collections, 15% off. Today and tomorrow, in-store and online, so um, head to your local exchange. If you don't live close to a local exchange, that's okay. Shopmyexchange.com um, and load up. So if you're someone that did not know about the shower gel, that it d truly is helpful to keep your yeah. fragrance longer, now's your time to get both 
15% off. Holidays are upon us. So you need to load up on gifts, stocking stuffers, a little yeah. for yourself. Now is the time. Cause that, I mean, 15% off Heather. Right. No. Incredible. And, and also like if you're getting gifts for somebody else, knowing that two of these fragrances for sure they don't have because they literally just came out. So it's like, you, you know, all of the Defy fragrances are new within the last, you know, three years, two, three years. But these two right here, brands making new. So being able to, you know, gift something that you know they don't have and amazing fragrances at 15% off. Yes, it's a must. So before I get into my euphoria, let's just take a trip back down memory lane. And this classic euphoria, which everybody knows, this is that gorgeous with the purple juice. This actually came out in 2005 and it has that gorgeous burgundy box. So euphoria, I mean, first of all, euphoria is like this heightened sense of like just the most amazing feeling, like the most amazing experience. So this is a name, like the fragrance has to match that name, right? And it for sure does. This is one of the most unique fragrances. Um, and really quick, why, what is this bottle shape? This is something that everybody's like, what is that? Is that? It's actually, so I'm not, there's some beautiful orchids right behind me. This is a particular plant, a flower that I cannot keep alive. Like this is, <laughs> I have a hundred plants in my entire house, but an orchid does not, is not my friend. Calvin Klein, however, loves the orchid flower. It's his favorite flower because it is so exotic and unique. And the bottle design is actually designed to look like an orchid in bloom. So for those that can actually keep this flower alive and see it bloom, they see, they get it. But for me, because it's always dead in my house, it looks like just a euphoria bottle to me. But anyways, I digress. So <laughs> let's talk about, let's talk about how this particular fragrance smells. Now this is an eau de parfum. So the very first version of this fragrance that came out was an, oh my gosh, so good. Listen to the notes. Okay. We have two of the most unique and different, I want to say fruits. And one of them might even be considered a vegetable, pomegranate and persimmon. Those are the first two notes that you smell. Oh my gosh. When you smell this particular fragrance. And then as it starts to dry down, because you know, the, the top notes are the ones that kind of dissipate. They, they add to the composition, but it's so interesting to smell a fragrance. Cause you already know when you spray a fragrance on by the time it dries down, you smell a couple hours later, it's often a completely different fragrance. So pomegranate and persimmon followed by black orchids in the heart of this fragrance so so beautiful and then here's one thing I love about this in the base of this so you've got fruit you got flower and then you've got something really creamy in the base and the base note the perfumer actually took the scent of Bailey's Irish cream and matched that and that's the base scent of this fragrance so you want to talk about something super unique I mean this is definitely that it's very sexy and sultry. It's, um, you know, for all times, but it's so interesting. Emily, I don't know if you're like this, but even though perfumes have literally no weight to them, the way we think like when it's summertime, we want something that's kind of like light and fresh and fruity, right? And then like, as it starts to get colder outside, we kind of want something a little bit more like the warmer, the spicier fragrances. Yes, little woodsy. I, right? I always tend to go for like a very woodsy sort of musky sort right. of smell yeah for this time even though it's like literally no weight but that's the way our it's mind just works warmer well. yeah it's right? cozy yeah <laughs> so this is kind of like that perfect hybrid because it is still fresh um but that the dry down it's so warm so all of the euphoria fragrances are gourmand fragrances emily do you know what that gourmand fragrance is i do not <laughs> a gourmand so think of the word gourmet so anything that has like an edible or it sm either smells like you can eat it or it has an edible note in it is a gourmand fragrance. So of course we've got pomegranate, we've got persimmon, and then we also have the notes of that Bailey's Irish cream. So this is definitely a gourmand fragrance. Now, the next fragrance in the Euphoria collection that came out actually was a Euphoria for him. And this fragrance came out um, in 2006. This is, so this is considered a master brand because we have men's and women's in euphoria. And I can tell you that this combination right here, I wear. I'll so you layer, you layer them, right? I do. 
And yeah. so for those who have not been, um, this is your first show with Heather. So Heather is a big believer in layering. I am too, because <laughs> I think it makes the scent uniquely yours. Yeah. So Heather, so why, why did you start layering the fragrances? You know what? I, here's the thing. Like, I just like to be different. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like I would rather somebody say, Oh my gosh, what are you wearing? It smells amazing. Instead of saying, Oh, you're wearing da, 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 da. I want them to be guessing what I'm wearing because they can't tell. And you know, there's like, there's no rules, but obviously there's, you know, it's like kind of like if you're an experimental chef, you know, there's certain things that go and don't go, but I just know like some, this is the men's has ginger, black pepper. It has sage, um, patchouli and amber so it's definitely warmer and spicier and adding something with fruit on top of that and like I said there's no rules but like you can spray one right on top of the other or spray one on your chest and one on your your forearm however you want to do it okay so that's the men's and the women's euphoria um eau de parfum now let me talk to actually that's what I was just spraying the euphoria eau de toilette this is actually kind of new this came out um last year and you can see it's a lighter, lighter packaging, lighter bottle. It's a, it's a lighter interpretation of the original. It's very fresh and clean. Like this is definitely something that I think about when it's sunny outside because it's like sparkling. It's like that, that mood. All right. I'm looking at the time and I want to make sure that I have enough time to talk about my euphoria right here. Yes. And it, it matches your beautiful red lips and your yes. beautiful earrings like Thank you. you were ready to match today <laughs> but I love it but seriously okay first of all for holiday also Valentine's Day which will pop up before we know like this is the perfect gift and it's brand new nobody said this okay so and this is 15 percent off today and tomorrow <laughs> exactly so this fragrance is definitely inspired by that intense euphoric feeling that you get that happy that just like that's the most amazing feeling that you can have, right? Is the feeling of euphoria. So this is sweet and spicy. And, you know, all of the euphoria fragrances have that note of this orchid. This one actually has an orchid flambe. So anytime you flambe something, you... <laughs> I love that. I just love how you said that. Flambe. Well, flambe. so whenever you flambe something, it really like brings up the, the, the taste or the scent. Emily, this is so good. It's definitely a reimagination of a lot of the classic notes because of once again, the orchid, but it has, it's, it's flambéed. So it's even more intense, um, smoky black sesame. So when I say that it's kind of a sweet, but yet spicy note, sandalwood, it is just, and it's an eau de parfum. So this is one of those fragrances that's going to last on your skin. I want to say like six to eight hours. Um, you know, it's always great. Like if you... If you can layer with a body product, like I mentioned, that's a great way to do it. What I like to do is first thing out of the shower, as I'm toweling off, I actually spray my fragrance on my skin first. Then if I have any lotion, whether it match the scent or whether it's just a regular lotion, I put the lotion on to kind of lock in the scent. And then I actually put more fragrance on top. The way you're really going to get the most out of your fragrance is when it's on direct contact with your skin. And when we put them in those areas that kind of like generate heat throughout the day, which are our wrists our inner elbow, like behind the ear, behind, on the, the chest, behind the knee. When it's in direct contact with your skin, that fragrance comes back to life throughout the day. This is so delicious. It's so beautiful. Um, this is when we were like introducing these fragrances out in the field um, this past month. I can tell you that this was definitely one of the fan favorites. This is for all of you that are watching right now, I want you to try all of these, but I for sure, you have to get this euphoria on your skin to smell this. And then let's not forget about the new Defy Parfum. These with the upcycled cocoa, with the orchid flambe, I mean, we're talking about some unique, unique fragrances, perfect for this time of year as it's starting to get a little bit warm, colder, a little bit colder and we need to feel a little bit warmer. These are the fragrances. These are a must. Yep. Love That's it. awesome. So we've talked about this before, but for some of our viewers um, that are just joining us, maybe this is your first beauty life ever, or maybe your first fragrance beauty life. Yes. So I know you, you let us know about the difference of the toilet and the parfum, like the amount of time. Yes. But what about pulse points? Like where's the best place that we should be spraying our perfume to make sure it lasts the longest? I used to do something that 
I think a lot of people roll their eyes at. I used to like spray it above and let it fall over me. But I've heard that that's not the best way to make sure your fragrance lasts. And like, that's a rule. And there are no rules. And at least you're okay. (laughs) So what I was just mentioning was like the areas. So the wrist, the inner elbow, the chest, behind the ear, behind the knee. Like these are actually areas where you can take a pulse. That's why they're called our pulse points. And it's so interesting. Like these areas actually kind of generate more heat throughout the day. And that's why when your fragrance is in direct contact with those areas, they kind of come back to life throughout the day. Um, And what Emily was just mentioning about spraying, I always say, I like to imagine that there's like this veil, the sheer veil, like falling over me when I do that. And that's a perfect way to If you're not somebody that's really comfortable with layering fragrances, that's a great way to start because you can wear your main fragrance on your skin and then like just add a little bit of something else. You know, it's kind of like adding just like that little bit of whatever other seasoning to whatever you're cooking Um, because it's just going to give you just that little bit of like a whiff of of the scent without being too much. Right. So you're fine. You're good. (laughs) (laughs) That's awesome. So I did want to just jump into the chat um, really quickly. Um, Thank you everyone so much for joining and watching with us. So um, we have a lot of love for Calvin Klein, a lot of love for Calvin Klein fragrances. Um, We have people from all over the world. Hello from Andrews, uh, Patrick down in Florida. We have, oh my gosh, from New York, Dallas. Awesome. I am. We have Barksdale. Thank you so much for joining us. I know Davis Monthan is here. Fort Carson is here. Um, we just thank you guys so much for tuning in and um, watching it. We have a lot of people that just love, love, love the scents. And um, they thank you so much for the, the history of Calvin Klein, as well as the history of the fragrances of Calvin yeah. Klein, as well as just all the really great information about each perfume. Because it really is in, in cologne. But it is really important to know just all the different notes and that you can layer. There are no rules. Yeah, there aren't. Fragrance. And it's a lot of fun. And the best part of all of this um, is 15% off on the Defy and Euphoria collection. Everything Heather discussed today yeah. in store and online. 15% off today and tomorrow. So go, go, go run to yes. your local exchange or head to shopmyexchange.com. Shopmyexchange.com is open 24 hours. So um, we're there for you right now. We're there when you do your 2 a.m. shopping, 15% Ooh, off. Yeah. Um, yeah, I used to have a problem like that. I would wake up in the middle of the night and then I'm like, let's go shopping. And then a few days later, right, you see what you bought at 2 a.m. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was gonna say those are probably the those are probably our best shoppers because they're just right. yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Because yeah. you're not thinking about it. You're like, I want it, <laughs> I need it. It's a there's a great promotion going on. I'm getting it. So yep. you will not have any regrets with this. But um, Heather, thank you so much for spending time with us today. It yes. means the world. And of course, it's never goodbye. It's just always see you soon. Yes. Um, and Beauty Tribe, thank you so much. Like I say, you guys could be anywhere doing anything. It's a Friday. You guys could be doing anything on a Friday at 12 o'clock, but you've uh, chosen to spend your time with us and it means the absolute world. So we thank you so much. And we will see you, Beauty Tribe, next Wednesday for another incredible Beauty Live. Heather, we will see you soon. Yes. See you soon. All right. Everyone have a great rest.